I was starting to get just a little bit concerned that I might accidentally finish up too many of my side projects over the holiday season, and that could lead to boredom. But just in the nick of time, my trusty washing machine stepped up and flooded my workshop for me, which alleviated any concerns that I had of getting too much time on my hands. Now this seal on the front is what broke, and I ordered a replacement seal, but it took about three days to get here and I had to do laundry in the meantime. So I had to come up with a way to patch this one just to get, the, get some laundry done. And it was pretty simple. All it took was a little bit of super glue and electrical tape. So I'm gonna go through the process quickly for anybody else who finds himself in a similar predicament. First, let's take a closer look at what actually happened. This is where the seal broke. It folded over about an inch and a half onto the inside of the drum during a tub cleaning cycle, which means an empty drum, but a lot more water than normal and much higher temperatures. Now, every time you close the door, it presses up against that seal to prevent the water from splashing out. But down here is where dirt is more likely to accumulate, and that causes friction, which makes the seal pull a little bit more when you close the door. Over time, it's just going to eventually crack. The first thing you need to do is cut off a little piece of electrical tape that is longer than the area that you need to repair. And the reason I like electrical tape, this is vinyl, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to stretch, it's going to bend, and the glue isn't too aggressive, but it'll give you a pretty good seal. Now all you're going to do with this is patch it back how it was before. Now mine was a little bit deformed when I did this, so I had to work at it to get the pieces to hold together. And get the tape on there just like that. It should be smooth and the, the pieces should be mating again. Tuck it in on the bottom if you have that extra fold in there. Make sure that you have a good seal and that everything is held together. And then verify this by closing your door. And make sure that everything looks like it's a pretty good even seal across there. And once that's done, you can fold this back and open those cracks up and squeeze a little bit of super glue in there. Now mine, mine is starting to crack in a few other places, so I'm just going to jam this back into those cracks and see if I can fix this a second time and procrastinate even longer. And this is where the electrical tape really comes in helpful because that is going to prevent too much of that glue from squeezing out in the front and creating a rough surface that would prevent the door from sealing again. So make sure that tape is back on there and then you close the door and leave it for about 10 minutes to let that super glue cure up. Open up the door and verify that everything has set up properly. Doesn't feel wet, my hand didn't get stuck to it, so that's awesome. And then you can peel off your tape. Carefully. Don't pull out. Pull at a sharp angle like that. And you see it's got a little glue on there, but it didn't build up much of a ledge on the outside. So that's a good patch right there. It looks better than it was this morning. And the next step is to go back to your roll of electrical tape, and you're just going to put a smile about halfway across this thing. It doesn't need to wrap around the entire door because you're not going to have that much water up here. It's just going to splash around a little. And this electrical tape is pretty thin anyway. And you do want to make sure all of this is clean before you do any of this. I can see the marks from last time, so I was right around here. And you're going to have to go slowly and carefully. Try not to stretch it too much because the more you stretch the tape while you're putting it on, the more it's going to try to pull back off. And just follow that curve. I'm going to make sure everything is very smooth. No bumps, no bubbles. And you'll notice that the, top, the, the bottom part is curling up. That's fine. It's going to do that for now. We'll fix that in a minute. All right, that's good enough. And now start at the other end again and carefully complete sticking the tape on there. Just fold this down and tuck it up into that, that area right there. This is where this uh, stretchy vinyl electrical tape really comes in helpful. All right, 
that. That looks pretty good. Now the next step is optional, but I have been doing this and I would recommend it if you have any silicone spray available or any kind of silicone lubricant. It could be plumber silicone or whatever. Doesn't take a lot. You don't want to use, whoa, that's a lot. Just get a little bit onto your finger or glove and just make that a little bit slippery right there. This is just going to help you when you close the door. It's not going to pull on that tape as much and it'll get you a better seal. So that's going to hold for another several weeks. Uh, hopefully I replace the, the actual seal before that. Uh, after every load of wash, just from this heating up and getting wet, the bottom is going to start to curl up a little bit and that usually happens. Just stick it back down. Wait, wait for it to dry and then you can stick it back down after the, the load of laundry is done. There we go. Not a drop on the floor. And that stayed on there this time. It'll probably peel up a little bit by morning, but if I move everything over to the dryer and close the door again, it should help hold that thing in place. Easy enough. Well, hopefully that was helpful or at least mildly entertaining. If so, remember to like and subscribe or do it later. The channel will probably still be here. Just remember that even you can procrastinate like a professional if you put your mind to it. Which reminds me, Christmas is in two days, and I should probably start building some presents. 